Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching a very, very special episode of Canada's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Now, as a reminder, if you don't live in Canada and don't have access to Crave, you can always use the link below. Watch Canada's Drag Race through WOW Presents Plus. Again, link below. Check it out. The very first look is the introduction to these Canadian queens on Canada's Drag Race. So it's Canoop Couture with classic Canadian materials. So all of the queens were presented Canadian materials and had to create these looks in the workroom. So let's get to the tooting and booting on the main stage of Canada's Drag Race. First to the stage, Anastasia on Knockaway. I love this outfit. First of all, the theme is Canada and red and white is Canada's colors. But what I really especially love about it is the nod to the snowy and coldness of Canada. You know, I love a monochromatic look. I love that it's the red, whether it's a panty or, or, or a leotard under it, the same fabric that the actual coat is made out of with the red socks around the wrist, the red double socks on the thing with the red hair. This outfit that she's wearing is inspired by Montclair, which is a, a European ski brand. I love it. it. It gives me space and it also gives me snow. And those are two of my favorite things. I love it. It is a toot. It is a toot for me as well. Next up, Kiara. I like this look. It's cute. It's fun. It's kind of Mad Hatter. It's kind of very Wonderland. Everything's kind of asymmetrical. And then you've got the locks, then different colors, the gold boots, the sprinkling of the little flowers, which makes it kind of feminine. It must harken back to like where, where she lives. She must be from the West Coast or something because it's not snow, which is what we immediately think of when we think of Canada. And uh, I like it. I think there's something kind of autumn about it and fall feeling. So I'm gonna give it a two. I love it, it's a two. Next. Lemon. I love that she's taken an entire like pile of stuff and created this almost sort of anime kind of character. I love that she kind of made fun at it. Like, I don't know a thing about sports, so I'm gonna come out and swing this like it's a baseball bat. And I love those colors. Vibrant, vibrant colors. As you know, I like a lot of color. So I give her a toot. Toot. Next to the stage, we bring Ilona Verley. You know why I like it? Because it's so, so, so gender and it is so not the typical drag that anyone would expect. And you know what? This is now Canada's drag race, so they need to set themselves apart. And I think that Ilona Verley is doing a very interesting job so far. I'm interested. I want to see more of that, the, the fringe. I wish there was more of that hanging off of her. I wish it just looks almost like a, an afterthought. Like she had that the scraps laying there, like she made the choker and then said, oh, well, I'm just gonna throw these on. I wish there was more of it. I like the fact that she's gone bare chested with only the pasties as a cover up. I like the little strings uh, and ribbons that are hanging off of her and she made it. So I think she looks fantastic. And I do like the dress. I like the under part of it. Um, It's a two. It's a two. Next we bring to the stitch. Kine. It's cute. You know, I love a gold jumpsuit. You know that I'm all for anything kind of disco-y, but it just kind of looks a little hokey. You know what, listen, uh, not everyone knows how to sew, but you should know how to style yourself. Sometimes when there's a concept that's in your mind and you need to do it immediately, then that part of being a drag queen and part of being a successful drag queen or one that works often is one that can fabricate things and it just looks a little bit like a boot to me. Yeah, it's a boot. Next we bring to the stage. Scarlet Bobo. Um, This looks crazy. You can see where it's attempting to go and where she wanted to go, but it was like, everything fit a little weird. The fit of that panty in the front was like kind of, looked like the back of it. And the way things are tied. I do like that she used the bandanas to create like these ruffled booby cups, but the way it's kind of just tied and everything, it looks a little bulky. You know, I love a little bit of garbage and drag. I like it a lot. I like that concept, but you know, this is the first time anyone's seeing you. And right now you have a big B on a diaper, which could be a big bowel movement in your diaper. That B on her diaper is for boot. It's a boot. Next. Jimbo. Living for this. So she made an entire dress with corset included out of zippers. Wow. Oh my God, it's spectacular. I am very impressed by it. 
I want to wear that now. So she took all, all these like sort of pride items and then created a full outfit out of it. And I love it. The zipper dress sells the entire thing for me. Even that little hat? I'm going to forgo the hat. I'm going to pretend like I, because I, there's nothing I hate more than a little top hat or a little baby hat. But like everything else is so fantastic. Toot. Toot. Next we bring to the Canadian stage, Tainomi Banks. In sleepwear, looks like socks and a robe and flannel. And looks like a little bit of everything. You know what it is? It's very, 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 very Canadian actually, if you really think about it, because it has those particular socks that are used for the sock monkeys. Um, it gives me this company called Roots, which is a very Canadian, it's like the Canadian Gap. But you know what, it, it just looks like she walked out in, in a few blankets and then there was a sock thing and then there was like a thing thing and then it just became a sloppy thing and then it just kind of... <laughs> that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a boot. It's a boot. Next we bring to the Canadian stage, Boa. Yes, Boa. It's kind of Poison Ivy. It's kind of She-Ra, like with the, the shapes that she's got. I do like what she did with the corset, covering it with the different bows and the different layers where it kind of looks like leaves. When you take a piece of fabric and just kind of wrap it around yourself and then stick a corset over it, it kind of, it looks like a piece of fabric wrapped around your waist with a corset over it. Thank you for saying it. Cause sometimes I need you to complete my sentences for me and ideas and that's all I see. The tits look a little lopsided. They look like they don't fit her. The only good things about the outfit is the ribbons and the ribbons are already prefabricated. Also, she looks beautiful from the, from the chin up and then, uh, and then everything else is sort of a disaster. It's a boot for me. Yeah, it's a boot. Next we bring to the stage, Juice Box. Oh God, that outfit. The disco ball is good. The shoes are good. She has beautiful legs, but who, oh, that fat braid right in the middle to de-accentuate a beautiful waist that you already have. If you've already got this muscular toned build and then you add this fat band of braid around it. Here's the thing, not every drag queen is gonna sew, but every drag queen who auditions to get on Drag Race, no matter what country, what hemisphere, what time zone, you need to be able to sew one garment at least one. It looks like she tied something together. It's a boot. It's a boot. Next, let's bring to the stage Priyanka. Priyanka got body. Look at them legs, though, sis. I love a nautical. I do, but not this one. I can see where she's going and I wish that it went all the way there. It's like the tiny little bit of net thrown on there and then the little rope. She puts the knot in nautical. Sorry, Priyanka, this is a boot. Yeah, it's a boot. Next we bring to the Canadian stage, Rita Baga. Rita Baga is freezing. I wish she would have kept that coat on. Yeah, leave that shit on. I love the jacket and I love what she made for her head. That little blue dress under it, no bitch. When you reveal something, the thing under the reveal needs to be more spectacular than what you just took off. But I love the jacket and I love what she made for her head. So she took mittens, created a collar, with a blanket. It is very Canadian. It's cold, it's icy, it's blues, it's whites. It's, she's covered in the snow on the bottom. That look, when you walked out, it was right, girl. Yeah, it's a boot. It's a boot. Trend alert! Wow, wow. Presents, presents Plus. plus. Yeah. That's it, simple and to the point. Trend alert is WOW Presents Plus. If wow. you cannot watch Canada's Drag Race on Crave, you know where to go. Check out the link below and find Canada's Drag Race on WOW Presents Plus. Our, Our top, top two, two of the, the week, week is, is Anastasia Anakaway. Work, bitch, that is a fierce garment. Yes, yes, yes. Anastasia Anakaway. Yes, 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 queen. Yes, 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 yes. She's from Canada. She looking fierce in that look. Yes, 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 yes. You can watch Canada's Drag Race every Thursday on Crave. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. We'll see you next week with Canada's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Bye. Bye.